Okay, let's go ahead and solve this equation. Pretty typical algebra problem, but um, at first glance, a lot of you out there that are new to algebra might look at this problem and be intimidated by it because it has a, a lot of fractions. Well, actually, this type of problem is easier than it looks, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to deal with a problem like this. I wanna walk you through it step by step, of course. Um, in algebra, there's all sorts of variations, so you're going to want to do a lot of practice, but if you're dealing with equations with a lot of fractions, you're going to want to keep this in mind. Of course, I'm going to get to that in just one second, but uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I've come to the conclusion that all students can be successful in math, but it requires two things. One, you gotta be willing to do the work, but the second thing all students need is great math instruction, super clear and understandable, and that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, even college level, and you need assistance in mathematics, I'm gonna leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. Also, if you happen to be preparing for a test with a math section, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, maybe the ASVAB teacher certification exam, any sort of test like that that can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, have fantastic middle and uh, high school level uh, full math courses that you can homeschool with. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and tackle this problem. Now, if you wanna go ahead and do this on your own, uh, in your own approach. Go ahead and pause the video and put your answer into, into the comments section. But let's go ahead and just kind of take a general uh, look at what's going on here. So uh, we have x. We want to solve this equation for x, but uh, we're dealing with a fraction, another fraction, but this, of course, uh, is a number. Okay, and then here we have another variable term with a uh, our variable, two-thirds, obviously, it's a fraction, x, and then we have a number. So what are we going to have to do here? Well, remember, uh, in general terms, when you're solving equations, you're gonna wanna move all your variables to the left and all your numbers to the right. So we're gonna have to move this 2 thirds x over here and link it up with this 1 half x, and then we're gonna have to move this negative 2 fifths over here uh, with this 1. So this is gonna require a good amount of, um, of adding and subtracting fractions, which, of course, most students have this kind of expression when you're dealing with fractions. They don't want to deal with fractions. I can understand why it's easy to make mistakes. So what can we do? How can this problem be easier than it appears? Okay, well, let's get rid of this expression. And now let's go ahead and be like, okay, Mr. Math Teacher, show me this little technique. Well, I'm going to show you this right now. Okay, what you want to do anytime you're dealing with fractions in an equation is to multiply the entire equation by the LCD. Okay, so what am I talking about? Well, this is the lowest common denominator. I'm talking about these numbers here. Okay, so we have all these fractions. So two is a denominator, five is a denominator, three here is a denominator, and then one is just one over one. So that one right there is a denominator. So what is the LCD with two, five, and three? Hopefully you know how to figure out the LCD. If you don't, by the way, I have a lot of videos on fractions uh, in my YouTube uh, channel. Uh, matter of fact, this is some of my most popular videos, so don't be shy about reviewing fractions. A lot of students cannot. Uh, they can figure out the LCD with little basic numbers like this, but when it gets more complicated, they don't know what they're doing. It's important that you understand how to find the LCD, but in this particular case, the LCD is 30. And if you knew that uh, the LCD was 30, that's excellent. Okay, so it shows me you know a bit of mathematics. So what you wanna do is multiply this entire equation by 30, okay? And what that's gonna do for us is clear the fraction. It's gonna be much easier to deal with this uh, equation uh, versus just adding and subtracting, moving all these fractions around. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it now. So here is our uh, equation. So 30 is the LCD right here. So we're gonna take 30. Notice I have this entire equation in brackets. That's what you wanna do. And so you're gonna use the distributive property. You're gonna take that 30, you're gonna multiply it by 1 half x, you're gonna multiply it by this uh, negative 2 fifths, you're gonna multiply it by 2 thirds x, and you're gonna multiply it by one, okay? So that's what we're gonna wanna do here, and the results of doing that, let me go ahead and walk this uh, down. So 30 times 1 half x gives us 15 x, okay? So you gotta know, of course, know how to multiply fractions. 30 times 2 fifths 
is 12. Okay, so 5 goes into 36. 6 times 2 is 12. And if, you don't, if you're having uh, trouble multiplying fractions, then you're going to want to review fractions as fractions are everywhere in algebra. But uh, it's much easier to multiply fractions than adding and subtracting. But let's continue on. 30 times 2 thirds is going to be 20, or 2 thirds x is going to be 20x. 3 goes into 30, 10. 10 times 2 is 20. And then 30 times 1, of course, is 30. All right, so what we've uh, done here is remove all the fractions uh, from this equ original equation right here. And now we're looking at this lovely equation right here, 15x minus 12 equals 20x plus 30. Much easier to deal with this, uh, these numbers, than all the fractions, okay? And these are equivalent. You just kind of, um, just because they're different, you didn't break the problem. Remember in mathematics or in algebra, when you're dealing with equations, whatever you do to one side of the equation, as long as you do it equally to the other side, you don't uh, change the equation. It might look different, but it's uh, equivalent. All right, so now let's go ahead and solve this equation right here. 15x minus 12 is equal to 20x plus 30. Of course, I'm assuming you know how to solve these type of basic um, uh, linear equations in algebra. If you don't, you know, go ahead and follow through by, uh, let me give you a couple of suggestions. I have a ton of videos, again, on my YouTube channel can help you out, or maybe you want to consider one of my full courses like pre-algebra or Algebra 1. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, first let's move this 20x over to the left-hand side. We do that by subtracting 20x from both sides of the equation. I'm going to suggest to use this exact format that I'm showing you right here. And when we do that, you're kind of adding down in a column manner. So we have 15x minus 20x. That's negative 5x. Got to be very careful with your positive and negative numbers. Minus 12 plus nothing is minus 12 or negative 12. 20x minus uh, 20x, of course, is 0. And then 30 plus nothing is 30. All right, so now let's continue forward. So we have negative 5x minus 12 is equal to 30. Uh, at this point, you want to move this 12 over to the other side. And a way to do that is to add 12 to both sides of the equation. Then we're going to add down in a column manner. Notice I'm writing everything out step by step. This is exactly the way you want to do this stuff so you, can te you and your teacher can read each step and double check as you go. All right, so negative 5x plus nothing is negative 5x. Minus 12 plus 12 is 0. 30 plus 12, of course, is 42. And at this point, we're left with this lovely one-step equation. So let's go ahead and solve for x. And to solve for x, all we need to do is divide both sides of the equation by negative 5. And we get x is equal to negative 42 over 5. Okay, so if you got this problem, even if you just work with the fractions and didn't clear the uh, fractions, but if you were able to do this all by yourself, that's very, very good. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and give you a nice little happy face an A plus 100%. Uh, I'm going to give you like three or four stars because you know um, how good it feels to get all these little accolades and whatnot. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to hook you up with the good old 1984 Mohawk haircut because that was pretty impressive back in the good old days. But uh, listen, uh, if you're able to do this, that's very, very good. Uh, you don't want to get overconfident um, in your ability to do you know, these equations. Like let's say... Uh, you do this equation correctly, and you're like, oh, okay, I must be able to do all equations correctly. Now, you know, there's a lot more, much, much more challenging equations than this. So the key to be successful in mathematics is practice, okay? Math is a skill, and it's like any skill. If you've, um, you, you know, like basketball, for example, if you stop shooting or playing basketball for a couple, three, four, five years, you're going to be a little rusty, and you're going to have to kind of you know, retrain yourself. So keep your math skills sharp, do all your practice, do all your uh, homework. And if you need assistance with uh, any of these topics, again, check out my YouTube channel, I have tons of videos or any one of my math help courses, which of course you can find by following the link in the description of this video. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.